tell us who you are. Eric Peterson, city manager, Portland District. All right, tell me your Sherwin story. My Sherwin story, uh, 1992. I graduated from the University of Oregon, go Ducks, uh, into our MT program. So MT out of our Tualatin training store at the time, assistant manager at Andreessen, manager at Andreessen, sales rep out of Andreessen, all within uh, probably four years. And then I was a sales rep in Clark County for probably 15 years before I came into the office and uh, worked with Brian Pittman uh, as a sales manager for a couple of years and then current role city manager probably for all right, tell us about any spill that you've seen, uh, that you've done or heard of. Um, there's a lot of them, but I think the most recent and most memorable one, uh, you know, our truck drivers and third party folks bring two stacks of fives to the back of the trailer. So 160 gallons to the back of the trailer. This driver didn't hit the brakes. Two pallets of 400 eggshell came flying out of the back of the trailer, hit the deck, paint everywhere. Um, that was probably the most memorable and the biggest paint spill I've seen. All right, how do we want to be remembered at Sherwin-Williams? Uh, remembered, probably someone that's always willing to help. Um, I field calls from everyone in the district and the area and I'm always willing to help. And I think everyone knows that you don't have to report to me to call me. I'm always willing to answer my phone and help you through a situation. All right, what has made you wanna stay with Sherwin-Williams since joining the company? Um, the, the, the best thing about what we do, doesn't matter what position we have, every day is different. So again, 31 years with the company, Every day is different, so it keeps you engaged. You're learning new challenges, um, meeting new people, new customers. Um, that's that's been the neat thing about what we do for a living. That it's not the bank teller mentality. You just go sit at a teller window and wait for someone to show up. All right, here we go. Tell us your interests outside of work. Um, I'm a car guy, so there's always a car under construction in my shop of some sort, some sort of phase. Uh, I'm tending to keep the cars now instead of sell them. So there's always a bunch of cars out back in my shop. Um, a lot of you know my youngest is a dancer, competitive dancer, so I'm a dance dad. Uh, tonight, tomorrow, this weekend is going to be all dance competitions. Older daughter was uh, volleyball, basketball, so sports fan for sure. So a lot of it evolves around the family and the kids. All right, what has been your most memorable moment at Sherwin-Williams? You know, I'm gonna go to my first sales meeting. Um, a lot of people just came back from sales meeting for the first time. At awards, we were up front, and this was mid 90s, store manager for me. I saw the awards start and everyone's names and lights and the cannon was booming for multiple presidents winners and uh, the hoopla running across the stage and being recognized for winning presidents that year. I love that and I wanted to do that. So that was a good motivator for me when I came back to run my store and to be on stage next year. And I, and I was actually, so it was pretty cool. All right, who has been a mentor for you at Sharon Williams and what did they do to impact you the most? Um, I've had a ton of mentors to be honest with you. Uh, my very first store manager, you know, we were in our early 20s and we were just learning how to run a business and we were learning together. It was fun, it was motivating. Um, we were being aggressive and we were, you know, hitting budget, so it was fun. Um, I've had two district managers uh, that I've been current and previous that I've learned a ton from. Um, one thing I always say is always learn. So I'm always trying to learn things from current leadership and then Every time we get a new vice president, they have a different take of our business. Uh, and I've taken a lot away from the vice presidents that we've had. All right. And finally, one message you could give to the entire district as a whole. That's going to be hard, one message, but have fun. I mean, this is a fun business. You get back what you put into it. We're running 
small businesses, each one of our stores, each one of the territories is a small business that you get to run. Uh, you get to be creative with it. Um, go steal gallons from the competition. Let's win together. Uh, and also, I can't end this call without 401k. So please invest in your future. Where else can you participate in something and double your money? You do that when you're early in your career, you have a lot of options at the tail end of your career. Awesome. Thanks, Eric. Thanks.